Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Paul. Uh, I'm coming at you with another ride home review. This uh, uh, today I watched uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. <clears throat> Um, now I want to preface this with uh, if you know me and know my music or uh, movie taste and such uh, I am a Marvel fanboy, so I want to put out the disclaimer right there um, But anyway Guardians of the Galaxy volume 2 directed by James Gunn starring Chris Pratt Zoe Saldana Dave Bautista uh, uh, Bradley Cooper Vin Diesel and uh, Kurt Russell and the story is about uh, Peter, or Chris Pratt's character, Peter Quill, or Star Lord, uh, father, played by Kurt Russell, comes to find out, find him, finally finds him, and uh, yeah, and then some weird stuff ensues. So uh, the positives about this film, uh, number one. Uh, the visuals and the makeup are absolutely outstanding. I mean, even, I mean, I know in the first one they were really good, but uh, this new uh, race that they had included with the Sovereigns, I mean, it was just spectacular uh, the way they, the way they formed the characters. Um, characterizations, if you like the characters from the first one, you won't be disappointed for the most part in the second one. And uh, Baby Groot, who I thought may be an annoying character, was not used appropriately. And uh, so on, Kurt Russell was great. Um, uh, special appearance by Sylvester Stallone. And so, so, I mean, those were a lot of the positives. I mean, it fit within the concept of the Guardians of the Galaxy um, and so on. What I didn't like was uh, the movie got bogged down a little bit in the plot point of family and in the second act especially it was a little slow. Um, it dragged on a little bit, this and that. Uh, so I really didn't Really had a hard time with that. It just it didn't have the snappiness of the first uh, the first film, but of course you're being introduced to the characters and there's a lot of a lot of building along along with that. But uh, yeah, I thought the story arc, especially in the the second act, was a little uh, was a little slow. So um, still a decent movie, one you should see on a big screen. Um, like a, overall, if you like the first one, you you really like the characters this time around. But like you know, but you know the story isn't as snappy. And what what you should watch for? There's a couple things. Well, number one, stay through all, all the credits. There's extra scenes, so make sure you stay through all of those. Uh, number two, the scene uh, with Yandu in Rocket's Escape. I'm not going to give any spoilers to this movie. But that scene uh, was <laughs> really well choreographed, well done, um, and just a, just what you expect out of a James Gunn film, and especially with set in this universe, uh, just an amazing, uh, uh, amazing scene for both of them. So, uh, all in all, I thought it was an alright movie. I didn't think it quite matched up to the first one, but barely sequels ever do. Uh, there's rare occasions that they are equal or even surpass the original. So, so there you have it. Um, so I do recommend seeing this if you're a Marvel fan, uh, but or a Guardians fan. In fact, like my wife, she may not like the whole Marvel universe, but she likes the Guardians. So that's the review. Um, just so you know. I uh, just wanted to put it out there. Um, Ride Home Reviews is now on YouTube, so you can catch up on all the videos. All the videos are uploaded to YouTube. Look at Ride Home Reviews. There's a Facebook page. Like us on Facebook. We're on Instagram and Twitter. We're going to just kind of keep you updated on everything that's going on there. So 
watch for us there. Let me know what you think. But did you like the Guardians of the Galaxy? Did it match up to what you expected or did it surpass it? And I hope to see you next time. What is it going to be? Stay tuned to our Facebook and Twitter and Instagram to see what we're going to watch next week. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you like this. See you next time.